Today we are in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for week one of the NFL season. It is Thursday night football as the Eagles and Packers will kick off this NFL year after the Eagles come off a Super Bowl victory last year. Now Matt Barkley did win us a Super Bowl last year, but the Eagles decide to go with EJ Manuel as the starting quarterback this year for week one. It could very well change if stuff is going bad early on in the year. It could very well switch back to Matt Barkley, so we We'll have to see how E.J. Manuel does today and go from there, but hopefully he can play well as we did give up Dominique Dixon and our second-string metal linebacker, Michael Kendricks, in a trade form. So we'll have to see how all that goes today as the Eagles get ready to kick off this NFL year. Donnie Jones placing the, t placing the ball on the tee, and he's lined up, and the kick is off, and so is this NFL season. And it looks like it's going to be a touchback. Shocker there. But now we get to see how the Eagles are going to play this year as they got a couple new defensive players. And right there, first play of the game, eight-yard gain on the play. And now Aaron Rodgers sends a man in motion. Hand off to Eddie Lacy. Lacy to the outside. And Lacy is fighting Trey Boston, it looks like. And Trey Boston finally brings him. No, it was Chris Davis. Oh, my bad. Aaron Rodgers in shotgun now, dropping back. Aaron Rodgers moving around, firing, and finding his receiver, but it is dropped and nearly picked off. One thing to note this week, we are out with we are without star defensive back Brandon Boykin, so we have to see how our defense adapts to that. They're Trey Boston on the tackle, so Josh Wilson is covering our number one tar their number one target. Rodgers drops back, looks, fires, and right there was Josh Wilson's guy, and he was not covering him very well. So, so far, it looks like our defense is seriously missing Brandon Boykin. On third and two, Rodgers. Read option. Keeps it himself. Aaron Rodgers down inside the 10-yard line. Fumbles the ball, but somehow the Packers keep it. And now it's first and goal. Aaron Rodgers drops back. He's looking. Dancing around in the pocket. Rodgers is then sacked by Connor Barwin, his first sack on the day. We have to see how he plays today and see if he can keep up today's play so far. He almost gets him again, but right there, Patrick Chung on the hit, forces a fumble, and Kruger picks it up, and he's down at the one-yard line. So out will come E.J. Manuel and this Philadelphia offense for their first play of the NFL regular season. Hand off to Sean McCoy, and McCoy gets a five-yard gain. Gives him a little bit more room to work with. Now E.J. Manuel on third and six. Play action, McCoy fires. Finds Zach Ertz, who is then brought down at the 15, 11-yard gain. So now they're really out of danger for a safety. Second and 10, A.J. Manuel dropping back, firing, finding LaShawn McCoy on a screen. McCoy to the outside, and McCoy's definitely out past the 20. He's down to the 32 on that big gain. E.J. Manuel now under center, handoff LaShawn McCoy. McCoy to the outside, McCoy's breaking tackles, and then he's brought down at the 49-yard line. Three rushes, 22 yards for LaShawn McCoy. McCoy would have led the NFL in rushing last year, I believe, but he was injured several games. And now there EJ Manuel finds Ted Ginn for the 12-yard gain. So far EJ is looking pretty strong at this. First and 10, EJ Manuel is going to keep it himself and run to the outside, but he's going to fumble there, and Banjo will recover, so the Packers get the ball right back on a fumble. And so now the Eagles defense got to come back out, and this game is still scoreless. About a minute to go in the first, Aaron Rodgers drops back under center. He's looking, gets around the pocket, and he is sacked in the backfield, this time by Fletcher Cox. And so this Eagles defense looking very strong so far. And Aaron Rodgers in shotgun, dropping back. He's looking. Got all day to throw the ball. And finally does. And it's almost intercepted by Wilson. And then Wilson can't even bring down Julian Edelman. So that's a huge game for the Green Bay Packers as we are now in the second quarter. And still no one has scored. Rodgers drops back, throws, finds Edelman, who is then hit by Earl Wolf. But it is a decent gain on that play. Now second and three, handoff Eddie Lacy, and Lacy gets the first down, but then is immediately brought down. Aaron Rodgers from shotgun now, dropping back, looking. Aaron Rodgers moves up to his right, but he is then brought down by Connor Barwin, his second sack on the day. So Barwin looks to be playing very good so far. We have to see if he can keep that up, like I said earlier. Third and 18, Rodgers drops back from shotgun. Aaron Rodgers, he is then hit hard by D'Amico Ryans. So they have lit up Aaron Rodgers today, not letting him get anything easily 
as the Green Bay Packers will come out and try to get the first points on the year. The kick is away and no good. So still, this being Thursday Night Football and the first game of the season, no one has scored yet this NFL season. 10.25 to go. First and 10, handoff with Sean McCoy. McCoy to the outside, or up the middle. McCoy's breaking tackles, and he's got a decent gain. Five rushes, 41 yards on the day so far for LaShawn McCoy. Now EJ Manuel in shotgun looking. Manuel drops back. He's looking deep, fires, and it's picked off by Deshaun Jackson. Or no, Deshaun Jackson on the tackle. It was Michael Huff on the pick. I don't know why I said Deshaun, but third and 13. Aaron Rodgers in shotgun, dropping back. He's looking... He fires and finds Eddie Lacy. Lacy down the sidelines, got the first down. He's chased down by Connor Barwin. Two receptions, 30 yards for Eddie Lacy. And D'Amico Ryan's not looking too happy there. Aaron Rodgers driving back from under center. Rodgers throws, and it is then caught by Jermichael Finley. Two receptions, 18 yards, and right there he gets a first down. Now Rodgers in shotgun on first and 10. He's looking. Aaron Rodgers fires and finds Harper. Harper down the sideline. There's no one in front of him. Harper is then brought down at the five-yard line, but he would be injured on the play, and I don't think he would return for today. Maybe he would. I'm not really good at remembering things. Third and goal, Rodgers drops back. He looks, fires to the end zone, and it is dropped. Trey Boston on the hit caused him to drop the ball. So now the Packers come out and will attempt a field goal to get the first points of the NFL season. Castle on the hold, the kick is away, and the pretty much extra point attempt is good. So 3-0, Packers get the first points on the year. And now on third and 10, E.J. Manuel drops back, fires deep, and it's almost intercepted. So now it will be fourth down, and they would punt the ball back to Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers in shotgun, dropping back, looking, rolling out to his left, fires, finds Edelman, but then he is hit by, I didn't even know who hit him there. But number 26, and he does force him to drop. So that caused third and nine. Rodgers drops back. He's looking. Fires, and it is somehow caught by Edelman. Great play on that one. So now on first and ten, Rodgers under center. Looking, fires deep, and he's got Mario Manningham, who's wide open downfield. The Eagles defense has not been able to cover these receivers. And there you can see the stats for today. EJ Manuel. Really not looking that strong anymore. Third and 11, Aaron Rodgers drops back, fires, and finds Stewart, who is then brought down, but does get the first down on the play as Patrick Chung would kind of carry him over it. And on second and one, he drops back. He's looking. Rodgers fires and finds Edelman, who was then laid out by D'Amico Ryans, and he cannot hold on to the ball. So on third and six, now after a false start, they are... They're still in field goal range, so Rodgers fires and finds Stewart, but he can't hold on to it. So that would bring out the field goal unit from the 37-yard line, and the kick is away and barely inside the upright. So 42 seconds to go in the half, and the Eagles are trying to get something on the board. He drops back, Manuel fires and finds LaShawn McCoy, who spins, makes a few people miss, and he has a first down on the play. Now 30 seconds to go. E.J. Manuel in shotgun. 18 seconds. He drops back, looks, fires, finds Cooper. Cooper breaking tackles, and Cooper's out across the 50, and the Eagles would immediately call a timeout. They probably should have called, ti called a timeout after the McCoy play, but now with three seconds left, Carpenter with the kick, 58-yard attempt. It is no good, so he will not even start the year perfect. His first attempt on the year is no good. If you remember last year, he made it all the way to, like, week 13 without missing a kick. So now to start the next half, E.J. Manuel drops back in shotgun. Looking, firing, finding Deshaun, who is able to get a very good play there. That's his first catch on the year. One reception, 18 yards, and E.J. just hit 100 yards passing on the day. Now from shotgun, E.J. Manuel drops back. He's looking deep, fires deep, and he has Dexter McCluster, who was laid out but holds on to the ball. 25-yard gain there. E.J. looks like he's trying to spread the ball around a little bit. From shotgun, E.J. Manuel play action. He's looking, going deep, and he's got Ted Ginn inside the 10-yard line. Very accurate pass there by E.J. Manuel, and that's one of the reasons he was the starter, because he can throw the ball deep. And now he's completed six passes in a row, and on first and goal, E.J. Manuel. Hand off LaShawn McCoy. McCoy to the outside. McCoy is making people miss, and he is then brought down at the one-yard line. Ten rushes, 65 yards for LaShawn McCoy. Haven't really seen a lot of him today in the highlights. As E.J. Manuel then hands off to McCoy, who was hit hard in the end zone, but does get the touchdown. 
So Philadelphia scores the first touchdown of the NFL regular season to take the lead 7-6 over the Green Bay Packers. And on first and 10, Rodgers. Play action Eddie Lacy. And he is chased down and sacked by Connor Barwin, who's got three on the day now. Tremendous day by Connor Barwin up to this point. Aaron Rodgers in shotgun, dropping back. Rodgers looking, firing, and he's found his man. And then Jalen Mills, the rookie defensive back, is the one to bring him down. And they would punt the ball to Philadelphia. Now third and 10. EJ drops back, fires. And it is almost intercepted. His intended target was Austin Safarian Jenkins. So they'd punt the ball back to Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers now on second and 10. Fires. And they would rule that incomplete. So that would bring up third and 10 for the Packers. Rodgers in shotgun. Takes a snap. Rodgers looking. And Aaron Rodgers fires and finds Manningham. But he can't hold on to it. So that would bring up fourth down. So that they would once again punt the ball back to Philadelphia. And I believe it is Ted Ginn back to return. Ginn's going to stand about the 35-yard line and receive it. Ginn cuts to the left, and Ginn's got a lot of room. Ginn into Packer territory, cuts to the right, cuts back to the left, and then is somehow caught, and he's down at the 16-yard line. But tremendous play there by Ted Ginn Jr. E.J. Manuel in shotgun looking. And he is sacked on the play, and that would bring up 4th and 18, so they would bring out Dan Carpenter to try to make his first field goal on the year. And Carpenter, from about the 24, kicks about a 40-yard field goal. And the kick is good to give the Eagles a 6-10 lead over the Green Bay Packers. The Eagles lead is nowhere near safe up to this point. So Rodgers hands it to Eddie Lacy. Lacy has the first down, 9 rushes, 37 yards. He's been quiet, really, all day. Not been able to do much. Rodgers drops back from under center. Aaron Rodgers moving to his right, and he's got all day to throw this pass. No one's moving on the defensive line. He fires and finds Edelman, but Edelman can't hold on to it. So after having all day to throw, getting that pass off was pretty much pointless. Next play, second to ten, Rodgers from shotgun. He's looking. Aaron Rodgers fires and finds Mario Manningham, who makes a man miss, makes two men miss, and then he's brought down, looked like by Jalen Mills. Five receptions, 59 yards on the day, and so far this Packers offense is moving very strong on this drive. Rodgers drops back, fires, and he finds Edelman, who was then hit hard by Jalen Mills, and he cannot hold on to the pass. So Mills is really trying to show that he could be the man that plays opposite of Brandon Boykin maybe late this year or early next year as Patrick Chung then hits that guy hard. Injury timeout, he would be injured on the play, and after a false start, it would be fourth and seven. They have to kick a very long field goal, and it is very far right. So now the Eagles keep their 6-10 gap over the Green Bay Packers. E.J. Manuel on first and ten. Hands it to Sean McCoy. McCoy up the middle. McCoy's breaking a tackle, and then he is brought down. 13 rushes, 78 yards for LaShawn McCoy so far on the day. And now E.J. Manuel in shotgun. He drops back, looks, fires, finds Deshaun, who is then brought down. Third and four now for the Philadelphia Eagles. E.J. Manuel from under center. Manuel takes the snap and drops back. He's looking. He finds Austin Safarian Jenkins open, who has his first catch on the year. First reception, that one for 17 yards. E.J. Manuel in shotgun on the next play. Play action, LaShawn McCoy. Manuel looking, firing, finding Cooper, who is then out across the four-yard line. His second catch on the year, 41 reception, or 40 run receiving yards now for Riley Cooper. On first and goal, E.J. Manuel, play action. And he is then sacked deep in the backfield. And there you can see the red zone stats, but right there we were moved way far back. Third and goal from the 13 now, E.J. Manuel. Hand off LaShawn McCoy trying to catch him off guard, and it doesn't catch anyone off guard as he is brought down after a three-yard gain. So out would come Dan Carpenter once again to give the Eagles a seven-point lead. Barkley with the hold, Carpenter with a kick, and it is good. So it is six to 6-13, Philadelphia Eagles over the Green Bay Packers. So Rodgers got about 13 minutes to score one touchdown. As Connor Barwin meets him again, and that time that is sack number four on the day for Aaron Rodgers, and that is not good. Second and 19, Rodgers in shotgun, drops back. Rodgers moves to his right, and Rodgers has got a lot of room to move, and then he is brought down by Earl Wolf. and Aaron Rodgers would be injured on the play. Obviously not good for the Green Bay Packers, so in would come Matt Castle. Castle from shotgun, he's looking, firing, and overthrowing his target, so that would bring up fourth down, and they have to punt the ball to Philadelphia. And now on second and two, E.J. Manuel from shotgun. Hand off LaShawn McCoy. McCoy 
to the right side, ran into his own lineman, but that's a good gain there. 16 rushes, 94 yards for LaShawn McCoy. E.J. Manuel in shotgun, takes the snap, Manuel looks, and he is hit, fumble on the play, and somehow the Eagles recover that as Arenas got to E.J. Manuel for the second time today. And now on second and 16, E.J. Manuel drops back. He's looking, and he is sacked as he's attempting to throw, so that will bring up third and 24 for the Philadelphia Eagles. And now on third and 24, Manuel from under center drops back looking. He is sacked again. So three plays in a row, three sacks, fourth and 36. They would have to punt the ball back to Green Bay. They don't get a choice on this one, really. Eight minutes and 25 seconds to go. Castle going deep and intercepted by rookie defensive back Jalen Mills, who gets his first pick on his career that's actually recorded. And that was a great play by him to get his first career pick and his first career start. E.J. Manuel in shotgun now, driving back, fires, finds LaShawn McCoy. McCoy to the outside, and LaShawn McCoy down the sideline, but he would step out of bounds. Four receptions, 55 yards for LaShawn McCoy. E.J. Manuel in shotgun, takes a snap, looks, fires, finds Ted Ginn, who cannot hold on to it. So fourth and one from a 35. He would ha Dan Carpenter would not come out this time. Fourth and one, handoff with Sean McCoy, and McCoy's got the first down. And McCoy would be injured on the play, but he would, I believe, be back very soon. He would be back for the next game. And EJ Manuel now is on a read option, going to keep it himself. Manuel has the first down. No, third and inches. I thought it, they would give him the first down. So third and inches. So the Packers need to stop here. They pitch it back to Darius Raynaud, and Raynaud's got the first. And Raynaud almost breaking it free. Two rushes, 12 yards for Darius Raynaud down at the 8. And now the Eagles come back out on the 10-yard line. Second and goal, Manuel from shotgun, dropping back. And he is sacked again. We let up, I believe, under 20 sacks all of last year, and we have already let up a ton in this game. E.J. Manuel on third and goal. Maybe trying to catch him off guard, pitch it back to Darius Raynaud, and he is then brought down in the backfield. Two minutes to go as the Eagles would come out and attempt a field goal again, really to almost put this game away. Two minutes to go, he kicks it, and it is good. So 6-16 six to 16 over the Green Bay Packers right now. And with a minute 29 to go, he takes a snap. He's looking on third and three, and he is sacked by Connor Barwin, fourth and 11. And that would pretty much be the end of the game. No hope then for the Green Bay Packers as they would punt the ball actually back to Philadelphia. 6-16. Six to 16. The offense seemed to struggle a lot with E.J. Manuel in at quarterback. But I don't feel that was E.J.'s fault. It was just a ton of sacks. And that was really the offensive line's fault. It probably would have happened with Matt Barkley in any way. So I feel E.J. Manuel played very bad first half. But he came out and really redeemed himself in the second half, so he will remain our starter for week two whenever we go and meet the da Actually, no, the Dallas Cowboys are coming to Philadelphia for week two. Play of the game is the only touchdown that was scored all game. And hopefully next game we can actually score way more touchdowns than that because I think we're going to have to in order to beat the Dallas Cowboys. But anyway, come back for next week whenever, like I said, we play the Dallas Cowboys. And we try to move on to 2-0. But this is Teenage Night, and I'm out.